Hello and welcome. This is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video tutorial, we will learn about match function that when to use plus one and uh, when to use the minus one. So if primarily you have ever applied index and match function in Microsoft Excel. So primarily if you have ever applied the match function in Microsoft Excel so you know that there are three uh, match types available with the match function uh, the positive one for the less than zero for exact match and minus one for the greater than now what I mean by those uh, match types and when to use correct match type uh, we will understand in this video so let's get start so for example Okay, so now in this situation, we have got the sales amount, which is 120000 And we need the correct percentage for, for off commission rate from the data given below. So we have a data where we have three columns. Sales is greater than and equals to. Then we have the second column, but less than. And the third column is of commission rate. So now if I start applying index and match, and I am assuming that uh, you know how what exactly index do and match do. So if you want to understand it from the very start uh, by fundamentals and with some more examples, so you can go to my Excel Basement Private Limited YouTube channel and access to the basic to advanced Excel playlist where you will find uh, three to four videos on index and match as well. And if you have already used that, so you will be able to understand it more clear that when to use a positive one or a negative one in the match function. And that's this video is addressing. Okay. So in the index, we will select the array, which is of commission rate column. Okay. And then we will apply the match function. So the lookup value is the sales amount, which is available in C3 lookup array will be the first column range from b9 to b14 and here we are discussing that which kind of match type we need to use in match function either it's a positive one zero or a greater one so now as a primarily uh, we we know that zero is being used for the exact match so if one like twenty thousand is available in the first column of a data set no matter at any position it will fetch that commission rate from exact location okay so if i put zero here and let me close the bracket so this function gives me an error value in return in the cell which is hash n slash a and it says that one like twenty thousand is exactly not available but for example if i go to my data set and if I do some changes in the first column so instead of 2 lakh if I write 1 lakh 20,000 which is the exactly same amount of the lookup value which is in C3 so you can see that now index and match functions is correctly giving the position of 120,000 from uh, the data set and, and from the corresponding column index is taking out that particular resulted value which is the 3% uh, for example, if I write one lakh twenty thousand instead of this fifty thousand, so you can see that exact match is working very fine. No matter where the one lakh twenty thousand is being written uh, within the first column, uh, that will exactly match and give the result, right? Okay. So now remember that uh, when the exact lookup value is not available within the data set you will get the error now the sales amount is of financial number and whenever you deal with some financial numbers and you need to look up some uh, data from 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 the other table by using some reference functions it could be a vlookup with a combination of match or it could be index and match combination so whenever you are finding a lookup value which is a financial number uh, there is a higher possibility that that exact number will not be available in the first column of the data set. So you can take an example of, of a taxation on your salary. So all the employees get different kind of salaries, but they, they primarily uh, their salary number will not be exactly 
with respect to the calculation of tax percentage within those slabs uh, which is being created by the Federal Board of Revenue FBR in Pakistan or the any other taxation authority in, in other country right uh, all the salaries of different employees comes under the in, in any of the one slab and according to that that percentage will calculate right similarly if you go to a bank you apply for a loan and there is a certain percentage whatever the present value or, or a loan you are taking from a bank definitely you will be uh, placing into one of their slabs right so in the financial numbers uh, it's it's generally not possible that uh, the exact number which you are looking for will be available in the first column of the data set just like in this sales example so there are a lot of salesperson in the organization and they are doing sales per day for example and they are bringing the volumes so definitely we need to allocate some commission rates on on their respective sales so definitely we have created some criteria that from 0 to 25 uh, there will be no commission from 25,000 till 50,000 there will be a 1% on that sales right so every salesperson is generating a different number but we need to give them an approximate match so that they can have a close commission rate percentage uh, what they deserve okay so i hope the situation is clear so exact match is not available so zero is not be a good choice because it will return an error now the question is when to use the plus one and the minus one and to get some good approximate match so for example let's understand the one here first now the positive one here is used for a less than what does this mean this means that if your database if your database first column is being sorted from smallest to largest okay so you can see that uh, there are three columns in my data set right and the first column is sorted ascending to descending means smallest to largest so it starts from 0 25000 50000 1 lakh 150 200 right so whenever you are when, whenever you know that there is an uh, financial number which needs to be searched out approximately and your database first column is being sorted uh, from smallest to largest yeah means that less than so you need to use one always so it gives me 2.0 percent of commission rate and let's check so 120 definitely will fall in this particular raw and that's re returning the commission rate now might be some of you will ask that one 20 which is the sales amount is higher than this this particular number yes exactly you are true but every time when you do look up it will stop one step ahead of that particular approximate match that's the key point you need to learn okay another way for example for example if i sort my database in a different way for example i selected my data set and i will go to home and I will go to the custom sorting option where I want my first column to be follow the order of largest to smallest this time I am uh, making a different sorting on on my data set and I'm what I'm doing is I'm sorting I have selected the entire data set and then I am applying the sorting on the first column okay and I am doing the largest to smallest uh, order so now you can see here it is returning me a zero percent whereas it should return me a, a certain commission rate so this means that when you're when you have a financial number and you are finding it in a data set to return a certain value from a certain column and your data set first column is sorted from highest to lowest means largest to smallest so you need to instead of positive one in the match type you need to use minus one because as you can see here minus one is used for greater than this means that your data set first column is is greater values and then going to the smallest values right and when i press enter it gives me 2.5 percentage this time so if i look at this so the one like twenty thousand is being coming in this particular set and it's returning me 2.5 okay now it's depend as of previous example when our data was sorted from smallest to largest it was returning 2.0 
and when our data is sorted largest to smallest it's returning 2.5 because whenever you do a lookup it will definitely stop it at the previous point uh, which which is the approximate match okay so you need to make sure that what kind of uh, good approximate match you want to return in order to give the commission on the particular sales now it's always recommended that if this kind of situations comes you always do sorting of smallest to largest numbers means that you need to use one in the match okay but if you are considering a different kind of commission rates to be written uh, you can use the minus one if this if the sorting is from has from largest to smallest okay all right let me show you one more example now in this particular example what i have did is i have uh, not sorted any of the value from within the first column of my data set so you can see that uh, the criteria are still there all these criteria which are in in the left side example are already there in the right side example but they are not sorted okay they are unsorted and if i start using index and match so let's apply index we need a commission rate and then we will use match function so lookup value lookup array for example this time i use zero for the exact match and as we know that one lakh twenty thousand is not available in the first column of the data set right or, or or a column which we have selected in the match so it will definitely generates an na or for example if, if i just write one lakh twenty thousand here which will be the exact match so it is returning the commission rate right now what if now the data is not sorted now that particular column which the match function is using okay which is not sorted here okay so if i use one positive one so it is not returning the right commission percentage and if i also use minus one so it's again not returning the correct percentage of commission okay so this means that your range which 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 you are using or the lookup array which you are using in match function should be sorted either uh, ascending to descending descending to ascending but should not be uh, unsorted this will definitely not pick the approximate match and that will might be give you that answer because here we can get the answer but this is not absolutely correct and that will make makes you in trouble because you will be making some financial models or mis reports and there you will be linking some of the numbers and percentages so your calculations will get entirely wrong so you need to understand that when you use index and match so your this particular lookup array within the match function should be sorted because you are doing an approximate match with a financial value okay so if you sort this data the approximate match will be correct so i hope you like this video thank you